What is going on, everybody? This is the Redemption of the Phoenix update. Um, I just got done a four-hour writing session from 1429 to 1829. Um, it was a little, it was slightly sluggish, but I got through it. It was rough. Um, I don't know. My shave too felt good to shave. Um, that actually got me into writing, so I feel better about that. Um. So what I did in this, uh, ooh, this one, in this writing session was I worked on uh, on past the rape part, and I jumped into you know Lucius's mindset and you know where he's at mentally and whatnot, and then I also had I brought Eve into it as well because she was checking on him. And, you know, just his thought process and everything and how he's, you know, processing everything, how he's breaking it down and working through different things that, you know, have happened so far and where he stands with everything and also Eve as well. And now, um... I got up to a checkpoint finally. Finally up to Tatooine. Yay for that. <laughs> oh, God. So I'm up to 321 pages. Typed. I'm on the back of page 15, handwritten. And I'm staying there because that's for uh, 311, actually. That's, that's the starting point for 311, actually. So I'm glad I'm there. And then I also have, um, how many words did I get? 104,616 words typed. <laughs> this is going to be a long motherfucking story. Oh, God. I have no clue how long it's going to be. But the thing that I like the most about writing this is really expanding on each character's, you know, viewpoint, mindset, you know, how they feel, how they perceive everything, you know, you know, what do they miss, what do they love, what do they care for, you know what I mean, like this, that, and the other. Oh, I thought I cut my sideburns wrong. Ah, I gotta trim that one a little. <laughs> Fucking mirror. <laughs> oh, well, I'll do it later. Um, what else did I work on? I think that was about it. Yeah, that was about it. It wasn't too much left to... Well, I mean, there's a lot left to write yet. Um, I think I'm pretty much done on, you know, flashing back to Denabar and shit. Unless I think I have one more portion left to write. I think, I don't know. I'll check eventually. Because I'm fully checking now. Um... So, yeah, I've been doing, like, three to, about three to four hour writing sessions here and there, because if I do a long one, it does go good, but I get tuckered out really quick, and I get tired, and I'm like, Ugh. and my head goes from, and I'm like, no, this isn't working. <laughs> that, and I had a fucking panic attack over Jedi Fallen Order, so, yeah, that kind of put my day off. <sighs> yeah, I'm not playing that game, so I already watched the cutscene movie for it, so I'm good. Great game. Loved it. Wish I could get all fucking Zepho. Bitch. <laughs> so, <clears throat> what I have left is, and this is all new content that I'm putting in the story right now. Uh, even Lucius's interaction right now, that's brand new. Uh, Pit Stop on Tatooine, that's brand new. After Tatooine is a ride back to Jaga, that's going to be brand new. So it's a lot of new content and new filler that i got to magically come up with. And it's, it's very taxing as a writer to come up with all this shit. And I don't think, you know, we talk about that. <laughs> you know, we as writers... Never really talk about how difficult that is. You know, as a writer, it's difficult to come up with the content. 
as an artist who's, you know, sketching, drawing, coloring, inking, lettering, and all that shit, it is twice as hard. Because if you draw a character up, you have to go by what the commissioner, you know, the commissioner says. You know, they if it's a big time publisher like DC or Marvel or Dark Horse or whoever or Image, you know, they want you to do, you know, this way or that way, and it's like, okay, <laughs> and it's draining. If you are a writer, sometimes your creative freedom is cut short. Me, I am not. A, I'm not locked in with anybody. I'm just fun. I do writing for fun. Like, I was published at one point, but eh, that company was a clusterfuck. <sighs> Literally. <laughs> and I went into that before, but I don't feel like going into it again. But, you know, I write my fanfic for me and also for you. You know, I want you to check out my work. You know, I want you to, you know, see where I'm coming from. Because my work is intricately thorough. And when I say intricately thorough, I mean, like, down to details, uh, you know, what they eat, what they drink, how they sleep. Uh, my story has sex in it, it ha and it has consequences as well for that shit. Um, it's dark. It's highly mature. <laughs> um, definitely not for kids. Oh, hell no, it ain't for kids. <laughs> Oh, hell no. Oh, boy, Star Wars story. <laughs> Mommy, what's rape? <laughs> yeah, no. Not for kids. Yeah, like, my work is more aimed at... I mean, I would say teenagers and up, honestly. But then again, today's teenagers are kind of easily... You know, upset over the dumbest shit. <laughs> I guarantee you if somebody read my shit and they were like, I don't know, 15 or something maybe, they'd probably cry they need their safe space. And I'd be laughing my ass off like, ha ha, bitch, you need your safe space because you scared. <laughs> but yeah, like my shit is dark. It's a combination of, uh, well, it's inspired by, I should say. Combination slash inspired by Watchmen, uh, V for Vendetta. What was the other one? There was a third one, I don't remember. It was like out my head. Um, oh, <laughs> shit. Cotter, Republic Commando, Force Unleashed. Uh, what was the other one I was playing? Well, actually, both Cotters. Oh, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, well, basically the prequel trilogy, and the Vaughn War. Yeah, so. It's a heavy fucking story. Like, the first part of it is, eh, it's darkish, but tame. Um, like, the second part, well, the first part's Devastation, that's rough. It's good. But, you know, it's got its dark elements. Aftermath Redo, same setup, a little more darker. Redemption of the Phoenix, which is what I'm working on right now, is fucking dark. Yeah. But it's more. there's more psychological to it. Which is why it takes me so long to just get the shit out of my head and onto the screen. Because it takes time. <laughs> Can't rush it and be like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's how I fucked it up with writing. <laughs> it's hard. It's always hard to write. Like, when you write something, it takes a long time. Some people struggle just getting the first fucking sentence out. They could stare at the screen for ten hours and get five words out. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that hurt. It's that bad. It's hard being a writer. It really is, like, ugh. Wait, my struggle is, you know, some people can write with multiple things going on in the background. They can multitask and have TV going, music playing, light on, uh, traffic going, 
what else? You know, eating, drinking, all that shit at the same time. Me, the most I do is music. Because if I turn on a movie or a show, I'm going to watch a fucking show and forget my writing. <laughs> and that drives me nuts. But, for the most part, like, I spend... The majority of the time, I do... Like, if I'm doing four hours of a writing session, most of that time, I am writing, but I'm also shuffling my music, trying to find my rhythm... Also trying to, eh, you faggot, bitch, there we go, <sighs> I had to turn my TV on because it dimmed, um, I'm trying to find my rhythm so I can get into my work, uh, I'm also trying to remember where I left off with people and making sure I go back to that so I don't forget it, <sighs> that's another huge thing with writing, fuck off Twitter, um, because there's a lot of things I'll forget. And everything I'm working on now for the light side ending of my story is fun. And all the new all the new Star Wars stuff that's coming out, a lot of that I can use in the dark side ending, which is a lot more fun. I can't wait to jump into that bitch. Ooh, it's going to be fun. But I got to wait. Yeah. Because if you jump into it, if I was to jump into it now, it would come out garbled and fucked up. That's why I haven't really done much. That's what I'm trying to focus on getting this done. And also, when I'm writing like that, I'm also trimming out stuff as well. Like, I'm past the whole serum part. And I'm glad I'm past that shit. <sighs> Because it, it serves no purpose. Like, I don't really need it. Like, fuck the serum. <laughs> don't need that shit. Like, it's not that important, to be honest. <sighs> Ugh, brother. It's just, it's an unimportant subplot. I don't need it. Eventually, in the future, I'll type up what I originally wrote down. And you can see how much it differs from the original setup I had. Or the new setup, I should say. Like, oh my god, this sucks. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's like I want feedback too. You know, it's like I'm not saying it to be needy or anything, but I mean, when I say I want feedback, you know, I say it because I really want feedback. I want, I want to know how you feel about my work, you know. How does it make you feel? What did you like? What was really, you know, eye popping and catching and make, you know, made you laugh or made you, you know, woohoo, or freaked you out or made you, you know, close it out completely? You know, I want to know that. Like, I know I'm gifted as a writer, but I do know I have flaws in my work. I just don't know what they are. <laughs> well, mostly it's punctuation, but. I got a handle on that now. Um, man, it's like, I just, I want to know, like, who you like. That's what I want to know. You know, it's just that kind of shit. So, that's where I'm at with 310. I don't know when 310 is going to be finished. Could be this week, could be next week. Who knows? <laughs> I'll be surprised if I even finish this motherfucker by the end of the year. My whole goal was to finish it before Rise of Skywalker, but, eh, I don't know. We'll see. So, I've rambled on enough. I'll leave a link for Redemption of the Phoenix in the description box below. Like everybody else says, you leave in the description box below. In the description box below. In the box below. And I'll leave all my Patreon links. Because I'm a broke motherfucker and I'm trying to get myself together. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll never do that shit. Uh, so, till next time, like and subscribe for Thoughts and Prayers.